दिस इज दैट मच इन फैक्ट सिलेबस की एक खत्म करोगे दूसरा छूटेगा स्टार्ट विद वन अनदर दिस प्रीवियस वन विल गॉन आउट फ्रॉम योर माइंड so good evening guys this is a formal greeting from my side still like okay so <coughs> today is the orientation class of the ethics what we will discuss here in this ethics aspect ethics and integrity poverty okay this is what the part of gs 4 at least we have no this idea at least कि दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ मेनी ऑफ द साइंस स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग दिस एग्जामिनेशन दे लोग भैया क्या बुक पढ़ना है कम ऑन टेल मी यू जस्ट स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग दिस ने इट डजंट नो कि व्हाट सिलेबस ओके एंड व्हिच टॉपिक्स मेंशन एंड व्हिच सिलेबस इट डजंट हैव एनी आईडिया यू शुड बी नेम कि व्हिच पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस कॉन्स्टिट्यूट व्हिच टॉपिक एग्जैक्टली दिस कम्स इन अ पेपर 4 जीएस 4 एग्जैक्टली एंड दिस इज वेरी मच अ सब्जेक्टिव इन नेचर ओके एंड दिस इज सोली फॉर योर मेंस means prepare because such question couldn't be asked in a prelims round okay so before starting this let me introduce something i know okay this is sahabaz khan okay i have been teaching you this ethics also i teaches economics and sociology option there okay so now this is my very, very first class with you guys okay so come on let's start with the introduction what is your name sujit you are from hyderabad hyderabad telangana okay you ma'am स्वीटी नोएडा ओके रुद्र बलिया वंडरफुल सब बलिया ओके आई हैव वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम बलिया इन गिव द एग्जांपल इन लेटर क्लास व्हाट्स योर नेम डिड दमिल दल दिलीप दिलीप फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु यू मध्य प्रदेश शरीफ शाहिद तो व्हिच डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश शायद बैतूल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके इट्स फाइन बिकॉज़ आई हैव वेरी स्पेशल लिंक विद मध्य प्रदेश आल्सो Tamil Nadu also, <laughs> because one of the area in Tamil Nadu is Uti. Yes. Okay, the ADC of that area is my friend. is a very close one in fact. Okay, what is your name, sir? Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Samvikas, UP, Priyagraj. Okay, Priyagraj. So all this UP and Tamil Nadu, and South and North divide. We will bridge in this class. Okay, because lots of beyond Bindias, there is another world, and beyond this, another world. really enter and many of this like south indian people accuses this indian political leader to have a certain kind of biases against them okay and this is also reflected in a what you will say is the recommendation of many committees in fact this election commission also in fact plan many of this like you ma'am and these are the bihar okay. without bihar this grouping would never be a complete one without any preparation could never be complete without any bihari because in this bihar and up this examination is a favorite time pass <laughs> okay because you don't have anything to do it means it like you are in among this like for example a family has a four kid okay all three is employed in some uh, some of the doctors engineer and so last wala he couldn't become anything ja beta tu aaye iske taiyari okay you face is a favorite time pass in fact in the bihar and in the up example so guys i have told you this is sahabas khan okay so before this i was teaching in some other situate i can't name it okay so now uh, still i was in when i was in my preparation here i was in delhi also okay it is my whole preparation was based in delhi i was in jamia millia islamia you know this like listen this residential coaching academy of jamia so i was there so i have lots of friends from there which i am referring to you this tamil nadu in fact in madhya pradesh and this is glory of the hawk forces the sp is my friend. okay they have love is very good social capital in this regard so now come to this this was ice breaking session so that ki aap mujhse darne lage aur mujhe aapse darne lage <laughs> okay so now guys this is gs paper 4 okay so this is what i'll say this ethics integrity and aptitude this paper ethics integrity and aptitude this paper was introduced in 2013 exactly as a reform okay reform was about this many of the science bureaucracy or the indian bureaucracy which is led by this ics system just before independence and later this ias and ips all this nomenclature will follow exactly so they are this backbone of indian bureaucracy okay and bureaucracy is what this is what they are the part of this uh, executive bureaucracy executive of two types permanent and 
temporary exactly they are the part of permanent executive they are being selected through an annual examination which you guys are preparing for and you hope to join this prestigious examinations who oh. so this was introducing 2013 the very purpose to introduction of this paper into this examination scheme was what to instill the idea of poverty poverty sorry probity okay or the idea of integrity and it takes into this whole services because this bureaucracy was very much infested or very much this idea of corruption was there rate tapism or this many of this time if you call it is a colonial hangover because most of this structure which we are going to join they have been devised during british times and the british time okay the work of british time the old soul in fact the purpose of the, of the british to rule in india was was what revenue generation exactly if i take this example if any state for example we are living in a modern state we are filling this modern state india is a democracy we are following this modern state system before this there was a monarchy and there were many variation of it in fact okay so this modern state system it has a major two function to play okay if i take the example there must be a central authority to govern the whole society or the country if you say or region okay there must be something on your behalf which can make plan policy for that particular region for the economic development whatever you say you whatever may you call it exactly so the state function if i say this is state the state has a two function to play one is law and order maintenance okay second very most function is what welfare well fair so what about issue with this colonial government exactly they were only concerned with this law and order administration of the country they are only concerned with maintaining law and order they had nothing to do with this idea of welfareism of the people they had nothing to do with this poverty should get off the poverty it means the country should get off the poverty or this overall prosperity in the society they were only concerned with extraction of their wealth which you can see in the drain of wealth many of this time which were feeding this home economy to the okay to the london economy was based on so economy was made on a what a satellite economy kind of for the british and here the sole purpose was law and order maintenance so that so that there must be enough what political stability in india so that this raw material or the movement of troops could be done is related as the whole purpose exactly but this very first function when this india got independence and got into this structure of modern democracy the indian government was having a very important role to play in this realm of welfare india is a welfare state or what is the meaning of welfare very first aap log bataiye what is the meaning of welfare exactly which uh, have you studied this polity yes sir polity have you studied which article of the poverty is indicate towards this welfareism structure of this nature of indian state dpsp article 39 bc or 38 exactly 38 or 39 bc which says what indian state will make effort to what bring exactly equality in the society it will try to what gap this bridge this gap between rich and poor it means indian indian government will do what all kind of activity which will ultimately discourage the idea of concentration of wealth at one hand okay so that this resources resources in society could be equally divided there should be a just society which has, in fact we have also after amendment in our constitution we made this socialism exactly one of the idea is in preamble so this is a very idea of welfare now indian government has a what welfare as a what purpose or goal to serve which indian government started with the formation of planning commission exactly and for that very purpose we have adopted the model of mixed economy where the private and public sector will go hand in hand but this public sector will play a commanding role in the whole economy this was the very idea then we reached this start is 1991 reform and this going on ever is further so this was the very purpose so this bureaucracy exactly till 2013 what was this was mainly we mean to serve this interest of law and order okay so this very much because of this exactly they have made this babu culture in this whole bureaucracy 
they used to consider themselves as a absolute leader they were like everything my bab in fact in the areas like bihar and up they are like my bab okay so to in fact to demystify this myth of my bab the government or the upsc in this bihar upsc is a independent institutions is exactly. a ultimately the watchdog of indian merit system which you call it okay they have brought a very good reform in year 2030 in terms of introduction of this ethics integrity and aptitude in order to bring transparency exactly in order to bring accountability in order to bring probity in the governance of the country exactly where this governance or this governance aspects become good governance aspect okay we will study all things in length and breadth so this was a very much discussion starting with this okay getting my point guys okay so this was the very much purpose of this government to bring in this way so this paper in fact in upsc notification it is clearly written because you have to exactly upsc is giving you this macro idea through its syllabus okay ki where you have to start your preparation because in assumption of upsc in the mind of upsc they are not like ki they will be trained by any coaching this they want you to prepare for this examination so they are giving you a guidelines so these are the what they are stating a demand you have to stick upon it exactly what i'll suggest ki what could be the strategy to score high in this exam in this particular paper so it is clearly state it clearly mentions that this paper will include question to test the candidate attitude approach to issue relating to integrity poverty in public life and his problem solving approach to various issue and conflict faced by him in dealing with the society question may utilize the case study approach and determine these aspects this is a clearly mention ki how question would be asked in a ethics paper in final in fact in the mains examination so this is what this include the question to test the candidate attitude and approach to issue relating to integrity poverty in public life it also said this is involves what case study approach whatever the values or whatever this ideals mention in this paper exactly ethics integrity eq it's all are the part of your what daily routine when you will join this service okay and through this you can ensure transparency so upsc want you to reflect such a personality that should be what inclusive of all these ideals your paper whatever you have thinking whatever perspective you have whatever you have a thinking about anything exactly you should be like having these aspect exactly these are important your copy should reflect this aspect otherwise you won't get number exactly no so this paper if i say this is divided into two section section a and section b each valuing how much marks guys 125 this mean 125 plus 125 is equal to 2 250 okay so this chapter offers you 250s okay and this is a chapter exactly what i say this offers a lot in terms of the fetching the marks in fact this paper ethics and essay this two paper are like a game changer you can really gain high very high marks in this both essay and ethics and these papers are mostly they are of one dimensional in nature exactly those not much involved into this ethics integrity everything for example if you take comparison with this other gs paper one this is a combination of many of the subject history geography or many of the things involved and they are like so this is very much subjective in nature the very much problem with this talk this topic is all these topics are in fact interchangeably used i say many of this time you are honest you have a integrity or the honest integrity many of this time it looks same looks like attitude aptitude looks same every of them many times same probity transparency looks same so here making clear distinction among this ideals becomes very much tricky so papers here is what it becomes vague in nature when you write an answer many of the students when you check this paper of ethics they do all kind of bayan bazi and they dealing mar rahe hain so this has lots of subjectivity aspect in there to so here the key is what you have to bring this objectivity aspect into this ethics paper things should be crisp there should be some structure into this this is not like you are just haphazardly putting all those facts and ideas into this okay and this idea of this ethics and everything that's all this ethics especially this uh, very much common between ethics and uh, essay paper is what this whole this two paper this premises is built upon the foundation of your gs you got whatever you study in this here this application more this paper is more of application kind 
okay so many of this times student becomes very much confused ki sir uh, i can't able to relate many of this topics with i don't have much of this things to apply on this so first very priority of what i have told you you have to build up your gs part this is application because this there are two part of this exam shall listen carefully exactly there is a knowledge part and another is wisdom overall this is key if i did but knowledge is what getting all those input in fact all this information which is given on your syllabus you go through all these papers you have all this separate notes for there this is a knowledge part and again this is wisdom is what application of the knowledge here you are making this application all you have it still studied in your single topics okay for example in a upsc never upsc never ask a direct question in examination this is all what is how they are ask asking question in examination one part of the syllabus is linked with the another part of the selection for example women empowerment could be linked with the globalization globalization is a separate topic which is dealt in a economics but women empowerment you should deal in social issue that is in paper 1 exactly again what happened governance aspect that is in paper 2 exactly that is linked with what ethics many of this times okay and this is happening exactly paper 3 for example economic topic could be linked with us historical or society so this is the type this is linkages you have to learn exactly and this linkages will come when you have a, a detailed or a comprehensive idea about the individual subject topics and through practice you will get to it okay so what i have told you this chapters divided into two part that is section 1 okay section 1 has all those theoretical questions which are generally of the applied kind of thing okay second section consist of case studies exactly okay so theoretical part and this case study case studies the purpose of case studies upsc wants you okay to feel exact situation they want you to put your leg into the same shoes for example you the dm of particular thing you have to assume this you are the dm of you can face many of this paradoxical kind of thing many of this what dilemma ethical dilemma you can face at first you have to maintain the transparency but at the second time you can compromise with this many of this growth goal okay many of this time you have to be what this is a parliamentary democracy where the political executive at the top you are the subordinate subordinate of them so many of this time you can compromise with that okay so you have to face many of this ethical dilemma in your daily life when you will become an officer so to get out of this dilemma exactly what are those option you have what are this pros and cons all those option this is the purpose of this whole case study they want you a ready made material for this market for this whole services exactly so this was very much paper and you can fetch really good marks in this paper very good marks this is a game changer because paper 1 paper 2 most of the time you will see of the marks of barring few exception is there exactly most of this guys score if you see if you have experience given your examination they barely score 70 80 90 marks okay in fact paper 200 somebody is goes exactly this papers plays a very here you can score 120 125 120 easily okay so so that and this because of this adding this mark your overall gs mark should be more than 400 you have to breach this marks of 400 okay and for that purpose this subject is a key getting my point <coughs> now second <coughs> i've told you what scoring this examination is in con and for the featuring in the final list exactly this is the usability of it and this paper is made of nothing but keywords all are the was keywords you have to get the basic idea of it ki what is this all about a common sense knowledge you don't go into the detail of anything for example you said going research into this if what what did have to do this multiple just you have to get a basic idea what is it exactly if i i if i try to make you this ki what you have to make a clear distinction between two interchangeably used values you should be able to do that and what do you have to do you have to make practice out of it it's nothing and equally this is what reading part and this practice part reading is what you have what i will teach you this you will get the lecture you will go through the books i'll suggest you okay you will have this stock of notes or stock of the idea input and this again this practice because success here in this ethics so scoring high in this examination depend almost on your practices 
getting my point so practice is very important in this paper very much important now general guidelines for the preparation of ethics paper this is simply you know in fact you have been preparing the you should know the syllabus first okay because starting for anything the very first thing is important syllabus because let me tell you one thing guys because many of this time this coaching industry is all about what they offer you lot this is a marketing gimmick in fact they offer you lot they i'm giving you this i'm giving you this note i'll take this lecture of this is whatever this i mean gat char das varsho ke question hamare kitabon se puche gaye theek hai you can find many of such books which claims successes in this examination which can find in outside exactly this examination but upsc is really very much what nobody can really track this upsc nobody exactly if anybody is claim ki this question would be asked in exam so i'm giving you authority this person is making bluff nothing doing else exactly so this is what they do exactly most of the time the two things what upsc really have left in the market where through you you can really take a guess of this whole examination what is this all about what schemes it offers and how will follow this examination what is two important thing syllabus and previous year question so we start to start this preparation very much you have to bring a syllabus and syllabus should be in your mind in fact you shouldn't mug up it's like guy a syllabus hi pad rahe hain pure din no no don't know this like what exactly you should be having a clear idea of your syllabus gs paper 1 mention which topics sub topics gs 2 which topics sub topics and in order so exactly okay and what is this prelims comes into this this whole syllabus because this examination is what i'll say this is a very much active kind of preparation okay this is not a passive one this is not a passive one here in other examination it is said all other examination are boys examination ladkon ka examination but for this examination you say this is a men examination mardo wala exam not not mains okay it requires certain amount of of maturity ek thehrao chahiye aapki personality okay upsc expect this and this personality is giving rewarded at the time of interview because such personality reflects whatever the reason they have they might be like very much intellectually dishonest what they are but they are what they are projecting it's all about projection they upsc the i'll give you their marks i'll become an ice officer okay so this is what active kind of active bole to in other examination for example in comparison with the upsc what is happening question are asked directly for example for neat and other examination question i'm teaching you something question could be come directly from my lecture but in this examination what i have told you there are interlinkages which i can see recently the chat gpt <laughs> chat gpt ai enabled that in fact particular device has all this search in the google all this data but still that chat gpt Pretty failed bad. exactly couldn't barely pass this prelims examination the reason being what it requires certain kind of logical thinking a thinking when is a think we are not going for a clerical job whether you have to maintain a data sheet something you have to make a decision at the point you are the help of every affairs there are many of this time you have like ethical dilemma where you have to feel exactly and here you will be help out by eq okay in this paper what is active in this this is paper that this examination the preparation of this very examination can be done in it this is not necessary you are just in a closed room where the kundi mundi sabka laga ke you are just sitting and you preparing for this examination you say ki after one year just open my i'll <laughs> this is not a kind of this is what a upsc wants to do is like upsc has changed its approach they want to is a very practical approach guy whose approach should be very much practical it means the syllabus the topics you are studying in this paper exactly you can see you can visualize those paper in your surrounding exactly okay so well you put you will get this paper out of the books and you can see around it for example you are studying in geography you are just studied what formation of the cloud who just went outside my class rain is there to so sir this is a pilonimbus cloud this is a nimbus cloud you can see by seeing this formation or structure of the cloud this is what application thing getting my point guys you just went outside you can see this uh, like lots of noise and pollution is there so you can really relate with this environment class pm particle 2.5 noise pollution how much this noise pollution acts offer how much soil should be there in a residential building or is there any coherency or not okay so this is very much actively you can pursue in this in fact you have go- going into the marriage ceremony of anyone okay you can really find anything related because if i say in a word guys everything under thing anything under the sun is a part of upsc any phenomena any public phenomena you can really relate with upsc 
and for that particular purpose what do you do really when you use this computer you do this bookmark so this is like a, having knowledge of your complete syllabus is like a bookmark whenever you get do things are this yeah this is a part of my syllabus so you'll get automatically out of the and this examination especially the prelims round has become that much difficult dynamic anything could be asked from anywhere nobody can really track is exactly so nobody know ki which information could be handy for you and should be aware for that particular purpose okay so information should be what syllabus should be in mind all the time okay all the time second is previous year question pyq gives you for example gives me idea guys what is this ki these topics which you see in this syllabus of upsc for example economics geography or whatever you will say society these topics are solely studied or taught in this upsc coaching centers or any other else or any some other places also taught in colleges academics phd is getting being done in that particular field so lots of in fact what are we studying the both thing i am not teaching you different thing in fact what i am giving you definition of ethics is not been given by any professor both are almost same thing but what is the differences then differences in terms of question which asked in examination the tone and temperament of that particular question define the complex and easiness of that particular paper exactly okay if i say this question is not difficult per se this structure is formation makes it difficult this time print was difficult why because this quotes have been made like this you are not able to eliminate sir this is like this become difficult because of this okay so this line is and when you will get this idea of question paper pyq ki which types which question have been asked from the particular which idea which topic sub topics is upsc is touching so you should be like what so very handy when you will analyze this paper okay you just study a something for example for prelims you study something a topic exactly you just go and see what is this in a previous year question what is given there what is so you have a clear idea about so two thing is very important you have to keep always with yourself these are the bible of examination and just follow me you just follow this approach na after 6 7 8 months you will have your whole idea about the thing ki how is this this time you will tell me sir this time i think this question will be as an examination because not everything is important if you are saying ki i'll study everything i'll clear this examination this is most likely not going to happen because you can't do everything you can't do everything there's certain keywords necessary which you have to study and you have bolte hain jo nahi padhna hai wo zyada important hai ye janna zyada nahi janna ki kya nahi padhna aur jo nahi padhna hai wo aapko kahan se pata chalega on previous year question so you have to take note out of it okay guys now come to this read limited book same okay notes i have to make the notes previous year question i have told you okay answer writing have told you what practices is very important for this examination example you have to develop from now i'll teach you what kind of example would be there i'll i'll just uh, give give detail you this analysis of whole ethics paper the approach and strategy in this current session exactly getting my point draw a diagram okay now this is overall general guidelines for this preparation strategy okay now i'm coming to as i have said you what this paper is divided into two structure a and b a is a theoretical part second is case study so come with the theory part okay so in this portion first of all you have to get the definition of the ethical value whatever the definition is given okay you will be given a reference book whatever you prefer this is your in fact uh, what you will say this is your priority whatever you prefer this is not like ye book acha hai wo book acha you have to just get a standard book any one you like okay any one okay so you have to get the ethical value in fact not if not going to you can also go with this googling okay what is this particular integrity what does it mean getting this so you should be having a clear definition of any of the ethical value which is mentioned in your syllabus okay second you have to get this significance of the value or the overall implication of this value okay and what exactly if this value is absent in this bureaucracy what will it will lead to exactly getting my point so this dimension you have to cover about this ethics what ethics does exactly mean a common sense and knowledge in a very crisp manner 
you shouldn't uh, like mug up this very detailed uh, definition of ethic, ethical values this is very crisp one ekdam do teen point ek isme bata sako ki what is this ethics okay significance we are getting my significance okay what it offers and in absence of it what will lead to it exactly exactly third the application of that value in our daily life put it simply theory question ask you explain the value along with a example you have to collect example this for this particular paper you should be make a habit what is this you have to connect or you have to recollect this many of this examples examples connected with this particular ethical values ready my friend i'm again give you this detail ki how you will do this what could be the source of it getting my point no no this is the example for example let's take the term integrity what i have explained this three approach okay i'm giving you example let us take the term integrity integrity three question that could be asked about it teen tarah ke question you pesi puch raha hai yahan par okay what is this what do you understand by emotional intelligence sorry eq yahan par okay what do you understand by emotional intelligence what is the simple definition of emotional intelligence getting my point what is the importance of emotional intelligence okay in the absence what are the consequence for individual society country and a different walk of life if emotional intelligence is not there what could be the consequence in a public life being as a individual in the society for overall getting my point this is like a, we are covering both the side okay what are the challenges in cultivating emotional intelligence hmm okay how to overcome them these are the like application part application part of emotional okay now you can also relate this you may substitute other ethical values for emotional intelligence for example there are many one values for example so these values could be attained by achieving or applying many of this other value also for example how transparency could lead to the emotional how honesty or integrity lead to what is the connection between different value this is a mental exercise you have to try to understand it exactly this question would be exactly application in this application this okay your clarity of the subject matter will decide your success बस यू हैव टू डू बस प्रैक्टिस करना है बाकी यहाँ लेक्चर देना है कुछ नहीं रटना है और प्रैक्टिस मारना है ओके नथिंग बहुत कुछ नहीं आराम से नंबर बहुत आएंगे अपने पास ओके उसके बाद एंटिसिपेट सच क्वेश्चन एंड फॉर्मुलेटिव बेसिक क्वेश्चन टू इथिकल टर्म्स गिवन इन द सिलेबस एंटिसिपेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अंटल काइंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज यू सी दिस इमोशनल क्वेश्चन ई क्यू ले लिया आपने लेने के बाद वॉट टू ट्राई टू एंटिसिपेट हाउ दिस ई क्यू विल लीड टू इंटीग्रिटी हाउ दिस ई क्यू विल लीड टू प्रॉपर्टी how this eq exactly lead to good governance how this eq will lead to accountability how it eq will lead to transparency all the things you have to link it this is a mental exercise you can also put on the paper okay this is a very comprehensive kind of exercise you have to do it on okay this paper is more of this doing than only discussion of the idea so getting my point guys okay now another ओके सो एग्जांपल वो बता दिया मैंने आपको कैसे करना है ये हो गया फॉर एग्जांपल क्वेश्चन कम प्रिपेयर अ डेफिनेशन फॉर इच ऑफ द टर्म्स इन सिलेबस तो फॉर यू फॉर दिस होल पर्पस यू विल प्रिपेयर दिस ओके सिंपलेस्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ इच ऑफ दिस वैल्यू नाउ इफ द क्वेश्चन पर्टेन टू स्पेसिफिकल इट वैल्यू यू मस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस द आंसर विद अ क्रिस्प डेफिनेशन क्वेश्चन कैसे होगा जब लिखेंगे द क्वेश्चन इंट्रोडक्शन शुड बी क्रिस्प ओके दिस इज नॉट अ डिटेल फोर फाइव लाइन ऑफ statement this is much very much crisp you have to give now example the definition of personal one reflecting example integrity ke diya hai integrity yahan pe maine dala hai ki integrity mean being honest doing the right thing even when nobody is watching you it can be conveyed through a simple example for example stopping at the red light signal at 3 am at night even when the entire road was clear this is an example of my integrity it means it's just find this what is integrity and try to correlate with your simple daily life okay, what integrity means to you exactly because in fact your interview round this question could be asked okay, what is integrity can you cite any example from your daily life okay, what is this integrity uh, or, or last time when you were where were integrity when were for practicing integrity exactly so this will help you round exactly second example i am of this leadership 
Leadership is an act of motivating a group of people towards achieving a common goal. Leadership provides inspiration, motivation, and vision for the future. Example, Mahatma Gandhi showed exemplary leadership to unite the country in the fight for the independence. So the example should be from your daily life. It could be from your daily life and from the history, from the life of philosopher, from life of any work. Example could be from any walk of life. Getting my point? No. Uske baad, always, always prefer a simple definition, not his arguments. No, the simplicity should be there. As simple, you have to be as much as simple you could be. Ek dam simple hona hai, apne ko jara bhi academic jargon si use nahi karenge. Okay, so it should be like, I have seen your paper, just saw, oh, come on, I get the idea. But the moment I will take time to, in fact, to see what you have given, what is the between the line, what is this philosophy you has given, right? It will what? It will create an inertia in the mind of examiner. Just keep in mind. Because this is examination and this is a hell amount of subjectivity in this examination. If you examiner ko jitna time to think about the time, if you time to look at your paper, dekhne mein, utne tumhare number, it will be reduced. It will be like usne dekha, ha, Things should be clear. Jaha usne time liya, kya it's like a, a bad impression. Okay, things should be simple because this is your job to make everything simpler. Because why you basically do this? This is like demand of this whole, uh, in fact, job. You will become an IS officer. Okay, any circular will come from the president or governor. Okay, you will read this circular. And there are many subordinate employees who will work under you. They are not as capable cognitively as you, you are like IS officer. So you have to what explain them in a very easy manner, a very simplest manner. So how do you do this? So simplicity or lucidity should be in your daily habit. You have to bring in from this value through this whole preparation exercise. You shouldn't be jargar gay kissy gaum me block me, panchayat sa chita usko de English me. You have should bowl kya dia sir me yar. So think things should be simpler one. Exactly now. Another, एक तरीका आपको मैंने बताया सिंपल अपने डिफिनेशन दे दिया ठीक है अनदर वे ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन क्या हो सकता है आपका अनदर यूज केबल इंट्रोडक्शन आस इज बाय स्टार्टिंग विद एन इंटरेस्टिंग कोट एंड देन प्रोसीडिंग टू डिफाइन द यू स्टार्ट आंसर विद अ कोट हियर आई हैव गिवन एग्जांपल वन व्हेन यू आर आंसरिंग अ क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जांपल इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन और इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस ई आई आई ई क्यू इसको बोलते हैं Okay, and again, again uh, before this, starting this EQ and what is the difference between IQ and EQ? Emotion, that is good. <laughs> Emotional question, what is the difference then? You have become too much simplest. Under a specific condition, how we are taking the issue? IQ is your normal individual question. Intellectual 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 Ideals exactly EQ because many of this time what will happen for example you are the DM you have a sympathy okay you are also you are the part of you are the part of a bottom layer of the society for example a DM who was a Dalit also okay at the same time he was a DM a Dalit came to his office okay and asking for I am in this abject poverty the government employees are not doing justice to me because I was this beneficiary of Indra Avas Yojana but due to this corruption this panchayat level sachiv has diverted this panchayat yojana to some other person now you have this like what you have to compete at the same time is what organization these employees are your employees exactly you are the dm but at the same that this person is also belongs to you the sentiment matches here in this case what you will do there are multiple dilemmas in it okay multiple times many of these times you are not happy your internal life in fact your personal life is not doing good you are not faring well in this you have like fight with your Okay, what will happen in this case? That shouldn't reflect in your professional life. So everything is all about what making this EQ is more important in this aspect. EQ, emotional regulation. What you have to do at the right point. Okay, okay. So this is what. So I'm giving you the example. Is what start with a quote. If the question is from EQ. What is emotional quotient? So start with a quote. Okay. First was what example. Start with a Simple definition. This one, simplest form. Simple. Okay, this is what the quote is. As much as eighty percent of the adult success come from EQ. That is given by Daniel Goleman. Okay, you start with this, and again after this paragraph, you start detailing about this. What is EQ? 
getting my point now example 2 a question on rti can be introduced with this quote for example any of this rti rti is the master key to good governance this is a given by second rci getting my point boys so this is what this is a way of introduction okay no introduction part ho gaya hamara okay after this introduction part okay well studies i am giving you this like strategy because you should be having one bookmark aapko pata hai ki kaise mere ko how you'll have to prepare for this examination so you will incorporate all this thing in such a manner it shouldn't be like a very vague kind of preparation you just starting this theory building you're studying all those lexicon and all those all those book and after at the end of this if i ask you what is eq it's like sir kuch to tha okay even though you don't have a much idea about things but you will follow this my structure you get an enough mark in exam getting my point guys now value mapping what is this value mapping for example question has been asked from the integrity what is integrity how it is helpful in ensuring transparency in the public governance in india so you just define with this i have given you introduction part simplest information or with a quote again what is integrity integrity after this second aspect this is you have to do value mapping value mapping is you have to map these values or these ideals with the imminent personality which possess those values this is value mapping which will do this like this person name the key value hai inke paas you can put all those in diagramic manner theek hai okay now this is what the below the table i'm giving you this exam ki how you can map for example mahatma gandhi if you map this value with that person what he possess professionalism he was having integrity he was having moral courage he was having humility leadership these were the value he possesses jal nehru jawala nehru parliamentary democracy secularism scientific temper socialism these are the value this person was offering exactly bala saheb ambedkar if i say social justice human right rule of law empathy and compassion this value could be associated with a specific personality now you just imagine you have this written a, a person a student has written a very simple answer what is integrity is a very if you writing this what is integrity in a very holistic manner simplest manner you are given a quote you have this value mapping the associated personality with it again you will proceed you will face a bit that is the things exactly the instrument to bring objectivity in the ethics answer i think my point ethics is very much subjective very vague paper everybody has idea of ethics if i give you the paper right now i know i can claim it everybody will write a an answer and all this fill a page of 20 30 pages okay but to make distinction among them what is required here you should be having a framework a objectivity okay and through which you have to proceed for the overall in whole examination getting my point now now the second part okay this one you got this for example for some topic such as emotional intelligence okay which has a multiple dimensions in fact involvement it exactly integrity so this is a very simplest kind of thing but the topic which has a multiple a macro topic kind of thing they have is what for example emotional intelligence good governance civil service value there could be many values or okay? is so here you can draw a flow chart ठीक है, there could be a multiple way to draw it. You can make it simple. This is a value, for example, EQ. So what are this EQ is offer? ऐसे भी बना सकते हैं. You can make your own. This is invention. You have to make your own. Whatever you can create a flow chart of over of values. What does it mean overall? If I say integrity, what does integrity means exactly in a flow chart manner? Getting my point, guys? Okay. So now. for that substantiate your answer you should be having a database okay and this is a very evolutionary kind of you'll start from no from the scratch in fact those are truly this is amalgamation or this coming all the subject as merge into this okay your essay part or especially your ethics part build up on this knowledge of gs and all those you suggest this this is build up this is more of this applied kind just you have to read this application part okay so here is what real life example for example example what makes your answer alive they are not only make the concept clearer but also ethical principle you possess exactly if you give this real life example 
So example should be like you have to do multiple example. Example from the personality. Example from your only only dilemma. Example from others' life. For example, if any of the friends have faced this dilemma, so you can also give such example. So you have to make it, and you will get it from this. I'll mention this. Okay. So now, so this like real life example, you can this from what? So because this is what without them, and ethics become a pointless theoretical rambling. So more example. A example should be comprehensive in nature. Okay. So important sources newspaper. When you read newspaper, if any of this case studies, any of this you see this example. Okay, where you can really connect with this ideals or this value mentioned in your syllabus, where this ethics has been compromised, where integrity has been compromised, where there is an example of transparency is there. Okay, for example, a uh, few a uh, few uh, years ago, exactly what happened in Jharkhand? A lady died because she was denied the PDS because of this. Her biometric couldn't match with this, okay, device. So on that count, she was not giving this entitlement which was supposed to get. So in that case, she died. So this is example what? This is showing an example. So you have to connect this example with this relevant values or ideals mentioned. It it falls into which category? You have to make notes out of it. Getting my point, guys? Okay. Now, so newspaper you will get. from personal life school colleges family you have multiple example of it like you can show this ideals okay you have a multi all life you have like this we have like how many people there two to five team 11th may ho so with this 11 people in fact we have like collection of this memory or what you said this example of the social life where in any stage of life we have stuck into this ethical dilemma kind of thing We did something. In fact, nobody is like we are the human. We are not perfect. Okay, so we have many of this example with respect to our personal life. So we have many of the things. Try to recollect it in. You have to make it daily habit. Getting my point? Now workplace. Okay, from working is like from your peer group. We are getting is. You have any idea from the lives of the leader, philosopher, administrator? Okay, for example, T N Session. You can see in the example of Transparency Election Commissioner of India. APJ Abdul Kalam, perfect example of integrity. Okay, so such personality, such philosopher should be included in that. Should be ready-made in fact. Okay, and are all study in this. You don't say that all we have to do. Sir, you are just telling me. Okay, this is what I have to do. What does that mean? I will take it. I will teach you everything. Okay, from scratch to advance. In fact, I'll study to this. When we we'll reach to this case study part, we will also get this answer evaluated. I'll, I'll try to give you that how case study will solve exactly. Okay, I'm just giving you this a brief so that you had be something idea about ki what is happening in fact, what its subject is all about. Now, crowd sourcing you also get it. Just like, what is it? Chagi tapri pe baithe, usko ko sunliya humne. And this happens in Bihar and UP is lot, a lot of chagi tapri you are just like, kar rahe hain ab baithe. Okay, you get many of this idea from this discussion also. Okay, you can use in this. Okay, now, now coming to this case study. Okay. हमारे पास टाइम कितना है गाइस कब तक है हमारे टाइम का क्लास है 5 650 ना वी हैव इनफ इन फैक्ट ओके नाउ चलेगा चलेगा ओके आई लाइक आई हैव टू स्टिक द टाइम ऑफ अदरवाइज आई तो मैं पूरा दिन बोलता रहूंगा द पर्पस ऑफ द केस स्टडी क्या है टू मेक रेडी फॉर द फील्ड एक्सपर्ट दे वांट यू वेरी एक्सपीरियंस गाइस यू आर नॉट लाइक अ नर्ड और द बुक मॉन्गर व्हिच ओनली हैव दिस मगर ऑल द थ्योरेटिकल एस्पेक्ट्स वी शुड बी हैविंग दिस व्हाट Practical approach towards life problem or the life problem you will face after coming to this examination, after coming to this services exactly. You will face lots of in fact, lots of dilemma. If you have a friend or someone, just ask him what is the dilemma. He will tell you. I will give you some many real life examples also. I have lots of. Okay. So now this is the case study aspect. They want you to. They want you to put your shoe, put your leg into this shoe and try to analyze from this. What value you reflect exactly? Or in this, when you are writing this paper, now what they have given the test is very much clever. As I said, that these topics are rocket science. I mean, there are two part of this examination. At one point, if I say that this is one of the what toughest examination, mother of all examination. This is very much complicated, complex. Okay, one set of argument. Another set of argument. I say anybody coming from any walk of the life clear can can clear this exam from any background. Even though that person has secured third marks in the graduation, even overall he scored third marks. Even though that person can become like that, so these two statements becomes paradox. नहीं नहीं लग रहा ऐसा कुछ. 
एक तरफ तो बोल रहे हो सर आप सभी हो जाएंगे एक तरफ बोल रहे हो सर बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स भी सो दिस इज वॉट कॉम्प्लेक्स पार्ट ऑफ दिस एग्जामिनेशन इज वॉट दिलेबस साइज ऑफ दिलेबस दिस इज दैट मच इन फैक्ट सिलेबस की एक खत्म करोगे दूसरा छूटेगा स्टार्ट विद वन अनदर दिस प्रीवियस वन विल गॉन आउट फ्रॉम योर माइंड को टू मैनेज सच अ सिलेबस एंड मीन टाइम इज बिकम वेरी मच ट्रिपी इन फैक्ट जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन and it's down of the demand demand of the examination of what you have to write 20 question in a 3 hour 3 hour if i if i divide 3 hour mein 6 the 18 180 minutes by 20 yani it means you have a 9 minute per question in this 9 minute you have to analyze everything you have to put this is not a human really possibly task is believe me trust me guys and i was used to write in fact all this day used to this is very much difficult inter- even to attempt this 20 questions to give required contain with a proper structure and in fact with a presentation lucidity should be there legibility should be there okay so this makes very much herculean task this is the toughest part of this examination if i say you ki if you in fact in the whole, whole of your paper gs paper in your optional paper if you complete your paper now with required amount of this content you will get a interview call take my word this is that much complex in fact okay so this is the toughest pass of examination exactly the simplest pass is what each and every topic is what not a rocket science एक बार भी नहीं समझ में आएगा दूसरी बार में आ जाएगा तीसरी बार में नहीं आएगा चौथी अरे कभी ना कभी आ जाएगा बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ एवरी सिंग अ वॉर दे आर सोशल साइंसेस दे आर नॉट इज मच लाइक रॉकेट साइंस यू हैव टू सी थिंग्स इन अ 65 डायमेंशन दिस आर वेरी मच फिजिक्स यू आर इन्वॉल्व इन टू अ बिकम आइंस्टाइन बाल बड़े बड़े हो गए इट्स नॉट लाइक दिस ओके एवरी इंडिविजुअल टॉपिक्स आर सिंपल वन इन फैक्ट आफ्टर वन स्टडी वन टू थ्री फोर यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट की वॉट इज द होल आइडिया ऑल अबाउट ओके सो दिस इज अम्पल सो इन दिस केस स्टडीज वॉट आई गिवन यू दिस hardest pass exactly you have known everything now putting all this thing into it so case studies wants you are to make a a practical approach toward this problem so whole purpose of this case study is what okay so for this what will be the approach of this case study framework for the answer what will happen the whole framework exactly subject matter for example ethics ka ek question uthate hain okay case study this is giving for you case okay, so this strategy for the case study a case is there you know have seen this case studies so in this case here first you have to this subject matter subject matter of the case study is what briefly in a line to capture the entire case study in a case study dealing with an is aspirant see this heading for interview but see an accident on the way subject matter could be for example i have given the case study you are aspirant you are going for the interview and while going so you saw an accident okay so now in this case what we will do exactly so what kind of dilemma you have what is the subject matter once you have to get the success and then you have a what social goal to save the life of because nothing could be more than a human life even your interview also in that case how you will deal with okay so all this dilemma this will come from this value which will get the idea of the value will easily identify which is involved in this whole case study so you have to give this assign this subject matter so what is the dilemma involved it for example professionalism versus competence okay growth versus development there could be many many of this getting my point no subject matter you will give now stakeholder what are those stakeholder involved in that particular case study for example stakeholder if any company has given example for instance you are the ceo of a psu which are facing severe unionism trade related as this labor are protesting okay and strikes affecting company's profit stakeholder in this case what could be the stakeholder how many people are involved into a directly or indirectly stakeholder company supplier society governance creditors stockholders customer owner manager employee this all are the stakeholder each if the profitability or this very existence of this company is threatened this all will be affected so these are the stakeholders okay so you have to signify this stakeholders getting this your objectivity now remember again ethical dilemma now you have to this key principle involved in this whole issue for example economic growth versus equitable prosperity okay development versus nature conservation what are those conflicting goals or dilemma involved in that particular 
तेजस्वी यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट इट डाउन सेकेंड ऑप्शन अवेलेबल टू नाउ हाउ मेनी ऑप्शन यू हैव exactly option 1 how many options could be there so ultimately you will avoid two extreme option but you have to write and for that each option you have to raise pros of that option and cons of that option what's the positive of that particular option and negative of it after this you have to choose the best option and this best option could be amalgamation of one two three option also okay and now you have to justify yourself ki why you have chosen this particular option okay by giving all your articulation in articulation you can also use examples also okay so this is the overall a brief about how you'll solve this case study getting my point guys so this is nothing this subject is not a what you will say uh in fact at the end at the end when you have made articulation this part of articulation what will you can also end your answer with a quote also okay what we for example in this case environmentalist wangri was say we need to promote development that doesn't destroy our environment if the case study involve this dilemma environment or development environment versus development you can end answer with this course this, this framework will get you but that brings the objectivity overall in that so this was a very big piece i know ki you have many of this puzzled eyes this is looking at me okay sir kya kya bata diya abhi theek hai ठीक है सो दिस इज लाइक कि हम लोग आगे ऐसे ही करेंगे शुड बी नोइंग कि यू हैव व्हाट शुड बी द आइडिया ओवरऑल सब्जेक्ट मैटर दिस सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट लाइक दिस इज नॉट द रॉकेट साइंस बिलीव ओके आई विल टीच यू यू हैव टू मेक अ लुसिड नोट एकदम क्रिस्प मैनर में सिंपलेस्ट मैनर में ओके यू विल हैव अ स्ट्रक्चर बस आफ्टर प्रैक्टिस यू विल गेट मोर देन 125 टेक माय वर्ड ओके सो दिस वाज द एंड ऑफ टुडे इन फैक्ट वी हैव लाइक 5 मिनट्स स्टिल लेफ्ट सो नाउ दिस इज एंड ऑफ now you ask me any of this doubt you are having okay because this is necessary to have a transparent <laughs> mechanism where in fact if there is a gap in service delivery from my side or lack of alertness from your side that will ultimately lead to the principal agent problem <laughs> it means our both goals will be go in a opposite direction will go from north i'll go south so we'll never meet Won't be, you will be affected, and my also will be affected. Okay, we have to align in a proper manner. Parallelly, we have to go. Things should be aligned. So, आप बताइए कोई दिक्कत आपको समझ में आया सब? Fine. Okay. Shahid. Ethical mana it means in a case study in any of your daily life. Many of this time you have to make compromise, trade offs. You say trade offs. For example, you can't do like you are not a god. you can't give everyone to in a equal manner you have to compromise that somewhere you're getting my point for example in from the personal life for example you are married theek hai now your bride will come to the home earlier who was at the center of everything your mother now another entity is there now you have a dilemma to maintain your what son's love or what you owe to your parents or another you have to fulfill the demand of the lady so dilemma so in the same case you have a dilemma multiple dilemma we face for example government faces the dilemma government faces data in terms of the development versus what protection of environment or development versus displacement many of this time development bring displacement is not the development meaning of development is different from every angle development for you is different For me, it's different. For you, it is different. For you, it is different. Development. If I say overall, it is what. If you go by the definition of you, if I say what is development, this is very much. You can ask me what is development. Yeah. Uh, okay. For example, you had nothing. You just somebody's came and has offered you a good Gucci shoes and this very expensive cloth of uh, what you will say Versace. Okay. Okay. Now I say that you have become developed. Is it development? What is the root definition of the development? Basic livelihood. Let's say this is not example of development. Basic necessity of living. This is not development. Development is what is giving you this larger. Development is the expansion of your life choices. The things which expand you to make life choices. And what are those life choices? You, you need clothes. I am hungry. I need a food. Exactly. I have to travel. I have to reach. this coaching institutions okay from my home to 
Karol Bagh, we need transportation service. I have life choices to take. Many of this person or the group in the society don't have this life choices. So this expansion of your life choices is all about development. But this expansion of this life choices somewhat in order to provide electricity in an urban city such as Delhi, okay, you have to extract mineral or the coal from a region like a Jharkhand and Odisha. And that mining activity displaced tribal people in that particular area. It means your agro-electricity caused a displacement or the eviction from their land, age or land where they were living from the, this development and displacement. This is a dilemma. This is what? Dilemma for, before the government. It means you are giving development for the people, but you are doing for some people and this some people are getting being displaced. What is this? So this is a dilemma. So you have a dilemma in your life all throughout. Okay, personal dilemma, public dilemma, social dilemma, all kind of dilemma will be facing. So you'll be having this whole paper about it. Getting sight? Anyone? So you have to choose the better one. It means this is a case where everybody or everything is evil. It means the option you have all this evil. So you have to choose the lesser one. Okay, everybody is evil in fact. You won't get as like perfect. You can't get it perfect in the society. In fact, nobody could be perfect. If you'll manage one thing, definitely something could be disturbed. You started with this material development of the society, giving more amenities. You just compromise with your environment. Now you'll manage your environment. Your development will compromise. So this is all in fact. So you have to choose the lesser one. All are evil. Getting my point, guys? Or anything? Nothing? So this is a good start of this orientation class. So having this uh, matured population with me to deal with, so I'll play with your minds and <laughs> the ideas. Okay, guys. So thank you. Thanks a lot to bear with me. Itne der ke liye na sab log kya kya bolo. Mujhe lagta hai ki ab now I can't take this lecture lena. Bad ke mujhe lagta hai ki I mean kya hai yar? Koi bagram sun rahe itne zyada hone. So this is like come on. Okay. So this start from this. Kab hai hamari next class? From tomorrow itself. चलिए तो टुमारो वेर मीटिंग एट वॉट टाइम एट सेम टाइम पंद्रह मिनट मेरे पास टाइम होता है फ्रॉम कमिंग टू फ्रॉम करोल बाग टू भागते भागते पहुंचता हूँ थैंक यू थैंक्स लॉट